Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Media Matters. Today I want to share a very strange and disturbing story with you. So discretion is advised. If this is your first time watching my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get updates on new contents. Let's begin. On the morning of July 11 of 2021, the Nigerian police were invited to this small apartment uh, when the neighbors could no longer take the stench that was coming out from a particular uh, uh, room that was occupied by two sisters. Uh, one was 60 years old and the other was 58 years old. Their names were Grace Osagede and Teresa Siburu. Um, people gathered around. The stench was just so much. When the police arrived, they discovered something very disturbing. It was a gory sight for residents of Universal Road by Medical Store Road in Benin City as the decomposing body of a 70-year-old Mrs. Agbenese Oshoma was discovered in an apartment nine days after her death. Curiously, two children of the deceased, 60-year-old Grace Osagede and 58-year-old Teresa Seburu, knew of their mother's death but kept the news to themselves and left the body in their apartment for the whole nine days until the offensive order from the house forced neighbors to barge into the house to behold the bloated body of the elderly woman. Osagede said she was instructed by God not to disclose the death of the mother to anybody. It was gathered the two children went about their normal daily chores inside the house while their mother's corpse lay rotting away. When the offensive order became unbearable, the neighbors mobilized and barged into the building only to discover the woman's decomposing body. Everybody in the neighborhood called her Iye, meaning uh, Mama. The older sister, Grace Osagede, told the people that she had instructions from the Lord not to disclose the death of their mother to anybody a position that was corroborated by her younger sister, Teresa, who said her elder sister asked her not to tell anyone as instructed by God. So, Edo State Police Command Public Relations Officer Kotongs Bello was contacted and he confirmed the incident. He said the police evacuated the cops and the sisters were not arrested because there was no reasonable ground to arrest them. Every family has their right to their culture and since there is no evidence to show they compromised the law, there is no reason to arrest them. This was what uh, PPRO, uh, the public relations officer, Kotongs Bello, said. The next story I'm about to share with you leaves more questions than answers. What happened to a widow and her four children in 2014? October 1st of 2014 was supposed to be the day of joy being the 54th anniversary of Nigeria's independence and the first day of the month. But for residents of Itamaga in the Kurudu axis of Lagos, it turned out to be a very tragic day that would not be forgotten in a hurry. Everyone remembered the story differently. Church members had a different tale to tell based on what they experienced on that day. So on that fateful Wednesday, residents of the community woke up with the frightening news that a widow and her four sons had been found dead in their uncompleted apartment. And of course, there were more questions. There were curiosity. People wanted to know what happened to to this family what who killed or what killed this woman and her four children although the police and the traditional rulers in the area have begun investigations into what led to the unfortunate incident at prince kunle wade close residents of the community are yet to come to terms with what actually caused the death the media learned that the deceased whose names and ages were given as kunle bayok belumi and Daniel, who were between the ages of 21 and 12, had lived in the community for the past four years with their widowed mother, who until her death was a patent medicine dealer in the Oshomolu area of Lagos State. So the media said that the deceased, who originally hailed from Oshun State, lost her husband tragically two months after moving into the building. Neighbors told the media that the deceased widow prepared dinner for her family penultimately Friday before switching on the generator to go to bed. The late Daniel and her mother allegedly slept in one room while the other three slept in another, but that was all neighbors could say about them. Eyewitnesses' accounts claim that the deceased were not seen between Saturday and Tuesday. According to them, they thought that the deceased had traveled until an offensive order started oozing out from their compound. Eyebrows were raised late Tuesday evening by members of the Redeemed Christian Church of God 
whose church is located in a nearby building when they could not withstand the foul order coming from Bellumi's house. So after their digging deep program, the curious church members decided to trace the source of the offensive order. So to their greatest surprise, they found all the windows and doors locked while the only tenant, a lady, had gone out of the day's business. A generator was also found in their sitting room. So the bewildered church members later called neighbors for their assistance. So these neighbors allegedly made fruitless attempts to get in touch with the Lagos State Emergency Service. Having waited till 10 p.m. without any response, the residents allegedly called the police who also failed to respond to the Save Our Soul calls. When the waiting game did not yield expected results, the neighbors decided to break into the building and to their greatest dismay, they found four sons of the widow already dead while their mother was half dead after defecating on her body. A team of policemen were said to have arrived at the scene at about 3 a.m. but turned back after warning the sympathizers to desist from rendering any form of assistance as the death could be caused by the, uh, by the dreaded Ebola virus. So having waited till 8 a.m., the sympathizers called a hotline in their neighborhood who alerted health officials at Ibutemeta. The health officials arrived at the scene around 10 a.m., uh, but by this time, Mrs. Asumo's condition had degenerated. She died on her way to the hospital. So the children and their mom were all taken to the morgue. But the aggrieved residents decried the lackadaisical attitude of the health officials, the saying that they demanded for the sum of 10,000 naira before the bodies were removed. So and then it turns out that the deceased, Belumi, attended uh, a high school in the community while Kunle and Daniel were said to have been seen at a nearby hotel around 8 p.m. of that fateful Friday. Although a community leader, Pastor Francis Okon, said the normalcy has returned to the area, it's also uh, discovered that residents are still apprehensive because the cause of death has not been ascertained. One of the residents, Mr. Nuruddin Olaiwola, called on the government to ensure that the emergency numbers are working as this would help to avert the occurrence of an ugly situation like this pathetic death. And just like that, everyone moved on and forgot all about the incident. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to get weekly updates from me. I post two to three times and sometimes four in a week. If you'd like to recommend a story for me to narrate, please send me a message at mmwit underscore oluchi or drop your comments below.